despite enjoying great critical success and selling millions of records throughout their career, the Red Hot Chili Peppers had to wait 23 years to see one of their albums debut at number one in the US. 2006's Stadium Arcadium, produced by Rick Rubin, took over 18 months to complete and was recorded in the same studio as their acclaimed 1991 album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Started hearing melodies and lyrics, and one of the lyrics was Stadium Arcadium, and as I started writing about what that was, it turned out to be a, a place in nature where people could gather and listen to music at nighttime together and be connected and in some way create a type of light that would be reflective of the light from the heavens. And it was just a moment of feeling connected to the universe by way of music and by way of people listening to music together. And that's kind of the idea of Stadium Arcadium. It turned out to be a very inspiring concept. We went in the rehearsal studio and wrote 38 songs. Um, and that was just what came out. Um, it was a really creative period, but the idea was to make a normal size record. But as we were putting the songs together and um, uh, arranging them and, and, and putting final touches on, on the arrangements of the songs, we just kept writing and writing and writing more songs. It just kept coming out. You can't stop something like that. 28 of those songs ended up on the double album, which went on to win the Chili's seven Grammy nominations and the award for best rock album. Frontman Anthony Kiedis put the success down to the improved relationships within the band, which first came together under the name of Tony Flo and the magically majestic Masters of Mayhem back in 1983. Many creative differences and battles with drug addiction later, Anthony is happily surrounded by fellow core members John Frusciante, Michael Flea Balzeri and Chad Smith, who recently kicked off a world tour with a mini gig in Barcelona. It's a good decision for us. We're excited to open our tour in Barcelona. So we'll be back in a couple of months doing a real show and uh, we'll be pouring out all of our hearts and brains. The tour took in three consecutive gigs at London's Hyde Park much to their British fans' delight. The Chili's are awesome, they're the best band in the world.